I am Tony Parker from the San Antonio Spurs. I'm Paul George of the Indiana Pacers. I'm Nick Young. I'm tuning in to Kicks on Court. What's going on, world? And welcome to a brand new season of Kicks on Court Weekly. As always, I'm your host, George Kill. Glad you're tuned in. We jump right in by counting down the top 10 players of the first 10 days of the NBA season from a sneaker standpoint. Plus, we trek to the ultimate hotspot for Phoenix Suns sneakerheads. We also revisit our eventful offseason and share a preview of our upcoming Soul Access with Baylor University. But first, let's check out the hottest sneaker spotted throughout the first 10 days of the NBA season. Chris Paul wore two PEs of his ninth signature, including a Halloween makeup. P.J. Tucker laced up both the Wheat Zoom Generation and an Air Jordan 9 Quentin Richardson P.E., while Steph Curry wore multiple colorways of his Curry 2, including the Floor General pair. Eric Bledsoe, usually a LeBron aficionado, laced up the Prelude Kobe 2. Russell Westbrook picked up where he left off last season with one of his many Air Jordan 29 P.E.s. Jared Cunningham rocked the Nike Zoom 25.5. Dennis Schroeder wore two Kyrie 1 IDs, while King James brought out four different LeBron 13s. Rookie Joe Young wore the Varsity Royal Air Jordan 14 Low and the OVO Air Jordan 10, and Damian Lillard laced up two D. Lillard 1s, including the Ball and Dead pair on Halloween night. Year in and year out, the Phoenix Suns contest for our Team Kicks on Court Award. Guys like Kicks on Court champion P.J. Tucker, Eric Bledsoe, and Markeith Morris shape up what many consider the most exciting roster in the NBA sneaker-wise. After spending some time with the players this offseason, we found out that they all have the same shopping hotspot in downtown Phoenix. Pound for Pound Shoes has been supplying the Suns, not to mention the entire Phoenix area, with the best in footwear and is an emerging spot with locations in LA and Dallas as well. We recently sat down with co-founder Brendan Naper to discuss the player's relationship with the shop. All right, Nice Kicks fam, we're at Pound for Pound Shoes, the hottest sneaker store in Phoenix. With my man, Brendan Naper, how you doing, man? Yes, sir, I'm doing well, how are you, George? Now, you're the co-owner of Pound for Pound. How long has this store been here? We opened this location a little over two years ago. And Phoenix is our first location. Right, right. And um, the Phoenix Suns, a team kicks on court. Tell yes, us sir. about uh, these guys shopping in here. When we opened up about two years ago, the first person I reached out to was PJ. I knew he was into shoes. I hit him up on Instagram, told him to stop by. We happened to have a few things in his size at the time. Just kind of built the relationship from there, exchanged numbers, and I would always track stuff down for him. So things that he could either wear casually or on court and it just kind of grew from there. He was our Kicks on Court champion this past year, and you are his facilitator in a sense. Uh, tell me some of the shoes that you got him. The most recent ones we got, he came in Saturday, picked up some Miami Knight LeBron Lowe's in a size 14. Um, pretty hard to find in that size, and then a pair of Jason Kidd PEs. Um, last year, he reached out to me before the beginning of the season and said, hey, we gotta step it up this year, two years ago. You know, he started bringing stuff out, and then last year, we really took it to another level with the PEs, uh, harder to find older Jordans. What would you say are the top five shoes that uh, you helped PJ get? It's hard to find a lot of the stuff we've gotten in his size, so there's a lot. My personal favorite, he actually just picked up, he's not gonna rock on court, but um, we found him a pair of dead stock size 13 Supreme Dunk Lows. The Gerald Wallace 13s, he rocked last year. We had the home and away, black and orange and white and orange. Dropped those off to him like literally right before the game last year. He wanted to pull something out. The Finley 14s, he got a lot of love. He busted those out early last year. And then hopefully this year, he's gonna rock some bin nines. Found him a pair of bin nines in a size 15, which is really hard to find. So I don't think I've seen anyone wear bins on court yet. Do you think PJ can top last year? Because last year was incredible. It was one of the best <laughs> kicks on court seasons we've ever it's, seen. It's going to be tough. I know there's still a few things that he got last year that he hasn't pulled out yet. Um, and then it, I'm always on the hunt for stuff for him. So we're going to try to top it this year. All right. Now moving on from PJ, who else has walked through these doors? Uh, Bledsoe, Bledsoe buys a lot from us too. Eric's a great customer. A little easier to find stuff too because he's a size 12. So. We tend to get a ton of good inventory in the 12. Devin Booker was just in here the other day. He's got a ton of shoes that he's already got because he's on Jordan brand. He's got OVO 10s and 12s. So he should pull out some good stuff this season as well. What makes Pound for Pound different from any consignment shop all over the world? All three of our owners and then our customers, I think, our, our other employees are very active in the community. We're available to our customers. We're on social media. Um, I think that kind of separates us from other companies. We're accessible 
and kind of pride ourselves on our customer service. Um, prices too, I mean, we have some of the bigger stuff that's gotten us notoriety, the samples and the PEs, but then we try to always be, you know, more competitively priced because it's a different industry being in consignment. We have two customers. We have the consigners and then the buyers. So we pulled out some of the more rare items that we have currently. Um, gonna start with the Phoenix colorway, obviously. Um, not an NBA PE, it's actually made for Diana Taurasi. She played for the Mercury, LeBron 10. Next, this is probably one of my personal favorites that we have in here right now. I'm a huge Jordan 1 guy. So this is the Don C two that they released this year for charity. Um, little different than the Jordans they've been releasing as a strap. And of course the Don C signature Python on there. Jordan 1, Jordan brand classic that released a few years ago. Patent leather, gold speckles on the sole, one of my favorites again. And then another Phoenix themed shoe, even though this was a Hawks PE, but Mike Bibby, obviously a big hometown hero. He's got a lot of PEs floating around out here. Jordan too low when he played for the Hawks. October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We've got the LeBron 9 Think Pinks. Another LeBron PE, the Ring Ceremony 10. Uh, he busted those out the night he got the, the ring opening night. And then another, another PE we've got, not the HOH release, the actual Sugar Ray PE from Ray Allen. Well, there you have it, pound for pound, the biggest sneaker store here in Phoenix, the hottest sneaker store in Phoenix. Um, I might go cop these Aston Martin Kobe 5s. Now, in addition to the P for P visit, we had ourselves a pretty eventful off season that included a sit down with James Harden, a sneak peek inside Andre Iguodala's shoe closet, performance reviews from our associate editor, Ian Stonebrook, and much more. Take a look. In regards to Adidas, the selling points, what made you want to go with Adidas? I just like the, the vibe, the direction they're going in, they're headed towards. Obviously they had a, you know, a couple of really good basketball players and, and athletes over there, but I feel like the two, you know, myself and the brand can merge together and uh, you know, really make something special. Actually one of the biggest shoe freaks is PJ Tucker, and this is his locker. <laughs> As you can tell, I try to get him some shoes from Nike, but he never wears what I give him. So he wind up bringing everything from home. He toes the line a little bit with the colors and things because everybody has to wear, um, you know, team colors, certain amount. But he, he's, he's one that gets worn a few times right. from the league. Now the six, they were trying to come up with like something where it was like edgy. One of the things we thought about was the movie, The Dark Knight. You know, when Batman got like his logo like in the sky. That's the kind of thing we went for, like with the back of the shoe on my six, where it, it pops out on you. Like it's something that you, you normally wouldn't see on a basketball shoe. And um, it actually looked fresh. I had a sneak closet when I was in Philly. You know, and it was just like this big room. It was just shelving, it was just white room. So it was, kind of, it was kind of boring. And then that was around the time I was really in the Air Force Ones. It was probably 06, 07. I had every pair of Air Force Ones that was ever made in the size 16. So when I came here, I wanted to do something that was a little different, that kind of had some personality about it. Let's start off with support. Support was probably one of my favorite attributes of the Crazy Light Boost 2015. Now for a shoe that's as low and as light as the Crazy Light Boost 2015 is, you might think it'd be an issue. That actually plays to its advantage. It plays very low to the ground and it has a molded heel cup it's got a padded collar and it's got that low profile boost in the heel and added print in the forefoot that make it very low to the ground and pretty stable. I didn't really have any issues on either side of the ball when playing in these and enjoyed playing in them from a sports standpoint. Our Soul Access series is back and here to stay. The Phoenix Suns episode that we filmed during the off season is just the first of many you will see over the next few months, including our first college edition with Baylor University that airs next week. Here's a preview. You know, I got all types of different Kobe's in here. I love sixes. The eights are personally my favorite Kobe ever. Um, I got four different colorways in the eights. Love these. All right, so as we come in here, we got a couple of our mannequins set up. We kind of just have this set up for recruits or even for our guys on a week to week. Our players will come in, change them up, tell us what they want to see, give them different options of uh, what we're going to wear that week. So this is a couple of our options that we have. Now, before we close, let's check out my fave five of your kicks on court. Brittany Ashley wore the USA Kyrie 1, Paul K512 rocked the Australia Kyrie 1, Coach Lake sported the Under Armour Curry 2, 
K5 Grizzly laced up the Blackout LeBron 6, and coming in at number one is My Shoe Life, who took it back to the Adidas Kobe 2. For your chance to be included in my fave five, upload a pic on either Twitter or Instagram and tag both Nice Kicks and GEOK3 and include the hashtag Kicks on Court. Tune in next Friday as we launch our brand new weekly Kicks on Court champion leaderboard presented by Tykes. Until then, your host, George Keel.